one. Welcome everybody to Inside Hollywood on the Hudson. I'm your host Michelle Servino and I have a very special episode for you today. We have Michael Brown. Hello. Hello Michael, how are you today? Doing well, how are you? Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. out to North Bergen yeah. on this super rainy voting day. Super rainy voting day. Yes. yes. Did you vote yet? Right after this. Okay, I'll it's very important. It is. I'll you get my have to badge get of honor. A sticker yep. like I got. <laughs> I think I just whacked my microphone too. Um, that's quite right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming out. Yeah, uh, you know, Mike, you and I met, um, and it's going to sound a little funny, but we actually met online. It's true. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, we hit it off immediately, and I think it's because, like, you just have this amazing energy. Amazing. You're so super talented. Um, you know, let's talk a little bit about yourself and your career, and sure. you have all these crazy businesses that you're working on, um, you know, let's talk a little bit about how you began your career. Sure, yeah, I began my career as a music student at Jersey City University. Okay, so NJCU grad. Yes, well, actually, NJCU dropout from the program. Wow, <laughs> okay, that's all right. Yeah. But you know what, I love success stories yes. about how people actually, because you know, we, we, we funnel everything to everybody has to go to college, right? Yeah. But there are success stories of people who actually like dropped out, left, and like are super uber successful. Yeah. So I love it. No, absolutely. And don't get me wrong, college was great for me. You know, it's where I locked myself in a practice room for 10 hours a day. Okay. You know, I'd, I'd go in when it was dark and I'd leave when it was dark. I was just kind of on my own trip there. Okay. You know, I took only music classes. I wasn't taking any liberal arts classes. Mm -hmm. There wasn't really a plan <laughs> to ever graduate. <laughs> the plan was just to get really good at, uh, at guitar. At music yeah. and guitar. So, you know, it, it served its purpose. And then uh, I quickly uh, developed a family, you know, at 19. Wow. Oh, not 19, sorry. Let's scratch that. Scratch. He <laughs> I, has no family at 19. I have 19, 19 15, <laughs> uh, 20, 21. 21, yeah. okay. So I had my first my first son, and it was it was time to start working. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> those bills definitely come in. <laughs> yeah, it was real. It was real. So, um, you know, I had an independent record deal that went nowhere, and a series of debacles. Wow. <laughs> and uh, ultimately, I, I've just ended up at this this place. I'm really happy to be at now, where I have uh, multiple businesses that are, are you know netting money, working with kids, and. Uh, yoga and music and, and the arts. And you practice yoga? I do. I practice uh, yoga, uh, kundalini yoga. Uh, I do pranayama. What's which, kundalini yoga? It's a, it's a, it's a, a type of yoga mm -hmm. that's very uh, connected to the energy work and breath work. Okay. Um, it's, it's fantastic. And I'm also into some Taoist energy work as well. They all have a lot of commonality and, and in places that they, they meet. Okay. I'm basically interested in anything that will keep me centered and focused and, uh, you know, becoming a better me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's why I like you. Well, thank you so much. Because I need to get centered and focused. And every time I'm around you, there's like this calming energy. And I absolutely <laughs> love it. So that's I literally so just keep coming back for more. <laughs> So, um, okay, so you've always had an interest in music. Mm -hmm. you're, a, you're a business owner in Jersey City, or? Yes, uh, I live in Jersey City, but my, my business is... Did you grow up in Jersey City? No, I've been here for about uh, 13 years now, I'd say, though. Okay. I grew up uh, in the tri-state area. My mom actually moved around a lot, single mm -hmm. mom. Single mom. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much that. I'm sorry, what was the, the question right before that? <laughs> so we're talking about your businesses. Oh, right. So, you know, you have Rockasori, mm -hmm. which is? It's a kids' music uh, company, essentially. Um, but it's not entertainment. I'd okay. say catharsis is its uh, immediate intention, you know, to come into the classrooms, these preschools, daycares, and elementary schools, and create just a, a calmness, a harmony. Um, and then uh, education, and I'd say last, our goal is entertainment. Okay. And we do this through song and dancing and movement. Um, and you know some props. You know every now and then there's a puppet and a lot of really cool musical instruments. You know we bring a variety of instruments in. And you uh, is this a place where the public would just come in, or is this a program that you actually input into schools? Great question. Uh, it's in schools primarily. Okay. Not that we don't do enrollment classes, but our main purpose is to go into public schools and private schools, and daycares, preschools, and uh, bring 
bring the experience to them in their natural habitat. <laughs> wow, yes. that's really nice. It is. And so, do you do it yourself? Like, do you go, I are do. you a, an instructor? I am, I, I'm an instructor. Um, sometimes we call them facilitators, music, okay. music facilitators. Music facilitator, got so it. Every, every now and then they get called a teacher okay. as well. Okay, um, I'm sure the kids call you teacher. Yeah, they do, or Mr. Mike. Uh, I do make sure to participate in, in my companies okay. so that I can keep my, uh, my, uh, my finger on the pulse of it. Absolutely. And stay connected. Nice. Because uh, something I've observed is a lot of people who uh, run their own businesses when they, they lose that contact, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with their feet on the ground. Sure. You know, they, you, they I mean, lose. I don't know how Amazon people do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a good problem to have That's there. a good problem to have, absolutely. <laughs> now, uh, does Yoga Story also go into school programs as well? It does. It, it does. does. And that's a newer incarnation. And uh, how is that being received by the education system? Uh, very well. Um, yeah. It's very, very much focused on uh, breath work and okay. mindfulness. Um, and I like to think this is a, a distinction between some of the other kids yoga programs that are out there. Okay. That were really f heavily focused on bringing something serious. What made you decide to bring less stress and less anxiety to school systems? I found them to be very stressful, anxiety producing situations growing up and really? even into college. Um, so yeah, it, you know, the catharsis, you know, it's like a service, you know, yeah. and having kids of my own. Um, and also having... Are you able to, is your house like very calm? Or At is times. it really like a crazy like hell like everybody else is? It has its moments. We, we strive for calmness. We strive for calmness. You know, it's, okay, good. it's practice, not perfection. It's, you know, mm -hmm. absolutely, you know, we have our moments. But, you know, we, we do practice all the things that we teach. Okay. And, you know, and uh, Penelope, our, our youngest uh, daughter, she helps us learn the most. Of course, you know, it's keeping it very real. Keeping it real, five o'clock this morning, crawling in our bed and karate chopping us while we were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> we've all been there. Yeah. Trust me, I, we've all been there. Totally. Um, well, Michael, we're gonna take a short break. Okay. Um, I'm so excited to have you play a little bit on your guitar. Um, I'd like to talk more about your healing sounds uh, sure. scape stuff, which I think is super neat. and. Um, we're going to take a break. So we're going to take a break. We'll be back in a few minutes right after this. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, Jersey City. Hudson County's only monument maker, serving all faiths and cemeteries. Design studio and launch inventory on site. Cemetery inscriptions and custom orders welcome. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, just south of Seacorkers Road craftsmanship that will last for all eternity. Burns Brothers, Jersey City, Albert H. Hopper, North Arlington. Visit us on the net. Consumer Carpets, 3408 Kennedy Boulevard in the Jersey City Heights, your one-stop store for residential and commercial floor treatments. Carpeting, linoleum, tiles, laminates, hardwood floors, area rugs, remnants, all major brands, all in stock. Free estimates, same-day installation. Consumer Carpets, it's saving, selection, installation. Credit cards and debit cards accepted. Financing available. Consumer Carpets. Price to fit your budget. Installation to fit your schedule. On the net at ConsumerCarpets.com. Consumer Carpets, Jersey City. 201-792-2712. Good Friends Self Storage in North Bergen, New Jersey is a fully climate controlled facility equipped with state of the art security, packing supplies, a refer friend program, and multiple loading docks convenient for commercial use. Located just off of Route 3 at 4301 Tunnelly Avenue, Route 1 and 9. Call 201-867-2444 or visit us on the web today. Good Friend Self Storage, let us be your good friend. Back from break with Michael Brown. Michael, um, thank you so much for coming pleasure. out today. Thank you. Thank you for so much for bringing your instruments. Always, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michael, let's talk a little bit about um, I know you're a singer, I know you're a songwriter. I love that you're a ukulele player, which I'm really upset that you did not bring your so ukulele. Sorry. I almost brought all of them. I know, <laughs> I had to like literally rein you in. <laughs> um, but let's talk a little bit about the, the sound healing mm -hmm. and the soundscape, which certainly, you know, plays a role in the um, yoga story, I'm assuming, right? Absolutely, yeah. Um, but let's talk about that practice mm -hmm. and, you know, what is the, um, what's the, uh, like, the history of it, actually? Well, that's a great question. I mean, 
to speak to the history of sound healing. I mean, that's that's even it's beyond me. It's a uh, it's as old as we are. Okay. You know, with uh, well, I'm this. only 20, so I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I meant it like mankind. <laughs> That's so funny. That was so diverse. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah, you know, back to the time of when the sound bowls were created and and whatnot. Or, I mean, do you I, do like the healing bowls, like the the vibrations and I, stuff like that? I do. I've seen a class like that. I'm really interested in trying. I do do that, and I also just create uh, sounds specifically just with the guitar. You know, various bell sounds and drum sounds. And then I run it through a pedal that loops them. Mm -hmm. So I create a texture and then I just keep layering on top. And I can also achieve these sounds uh, just with my fingers alone without any effects. But they're all about repeating pitches mostly to create a translate state. Because when chords are changing too fast, you can create anxiety. But when you have a, a steady, Rhythm. I mean, even just that, you can feel it's yeah, it's kind of relaxed. Feel the calmness of it. Like that kind of sound. Just recently started looking into tapping. Oh yeah. And cool. for my son, because my son actually has a really a lot of anxiety. EFT is it? Um, yeah. And um, cool. very like so, I just very quickly started doing it just because um, somebody showed me. And it really does make you feel calm. It really does make you feel um, like your, your patterns in your thoughts can mm. actually change. And I assume that that's sort of what the sound healing does. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different, different ways to approach healing. Um, the sound healing is just to create an environment in which you, can, you could do breath work, you could do tapping, mm -hmm. you could be doing yoga, you could just be listening to it and allowing it to just change your, your vibration and lift you up and calm you down. I mean, really, the combinations are infinite. That's what's so lovely about uh, creating the sounds. Uh, for instance, some of these uh, sound healing tapestries that I, I weave or create, I'll be using in the yoga story classes. Mm -hmm. Other ones are specifically for yoga classes. Other ones are just for listening to, you know, uh, unlimited applications, definitely. Um, have you ever tried box breathing before? No. That's a really cool thing. So what do you do? So Tell me. Can I do it right now? Absolutely. Okay, let's we, do we it. We can all do it. You know? Okay, ready? So they call it box breathing because all the sides are equal, all the breaths. So the, amount, the, the duration you breathe in is the same as how long you hold that breath. It's the same as how long you breathe out, and then you hold it out. So we'll do five seconds. Okay. Or five clicks, right? So you breathe in. Okay. Hold. Then out, then hold, and then in again. And you keep going on like that. Even one round is... Super cool. Yeah, very relaxing. And if you need a higher dose of you know, your own body's medicine, up the amount of seconds that you're... you're now, the you deeper know. you breathe in, mm -hmm. right, does that actually change the the calmer you are, or is it really, or is it a short breath or a long breath? Does does that make a difference? Um, there's all sorts of different ways to use your breath. Uh, if you're if you're breathing in uh, deep and then uh, fast, mm. if you're like doing a breath of fire, for instance, like a yeah. that will actually like. Right, make you excited. Really excited, but if you're taping deep breaths in and holding them. And then letting go, ah, anytime you're, you're doing that sort of thing, it's very relaxing. It creates a lot of serotonin. Um, yeah. I need a lot of serotonin. Me too. You know, <laughs> and especially in the winter months. I don't really do yeah. well with cold. Yes. Well, breath of fire is actually good if you're, you're cold, though. Of I'm course. always cold. <laughs> always. There is never a day that I think to myself, oh, I wasn't cold today, like even in the summer. That's hilarious. So what do, you, what do you do to warm up in the summer, then? Oh, I wear a sweater oh. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely wear a sweater, and I definitely enjoy like sitting in the sun, even though it's not really that great for you. But I think it is. It feels good. You just it put does. some slather, some fifty on, and I do get to it. I do, <laughs> I do. So I'm very excited to maybe get a little glimpse or a little sure. listen of yeah. um, little ditty, maybe little yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see what comes out here. All right.
really super talented. Thank you so much. Now, I have a true or false question for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't prepare you. No, you didn't. But your name came up just recently while I was on a lunch date, and I was like, oh, okay, so true or false. Mm -hmm. Is Paul Silverman oh. a good guitarist or a bad guitarist? <laughs> He's a great guitarist. He's a great guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> he gets better uh, even when he doesn't practice. It's actually pretty unbelievable. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He's... He actually was just telling me recently that yeah. uh, he gets lessons from you. And he does. He said, do you know Michael Brown? I said, I absolutely do know <laughs> Michael Brown. I think he's a great person. Thank you so much. I also. really cannot thank you enough for coming out to the studio today on this rainy, horrible, cold day. <laughs> but I really want to get you out to go and vote. Absolutely. Um, but I'd like to make sure that everybody knows about where they would be able to um, reach you in the event that they're interested in Rockasori or Yogasori or uh, Lily Nova Productions. Absolutely. So all three of those have websites, okay. uh, Rockasori, Yogasori, and Lily Nova Productions. Okay. And then, of course, there's good old-fashioned Facebook or Instagram. Can't believe we call that old-fashioned, yep. but we do. <laughs> oh, Mike, thanks so much for coming out. My pleasure. That's Thank it, you. everybody. This is the uh, end of In Inside Hollywood on the Hudson's episode for today. Take care. Great to see you. Get out there and vote. Bye-bye. The Jersey City Medical Center, you know it for its award-winning, life-saving ambulance service. It's also your health hub, with health and wellness locations staffed with certified professionals all through Hudson County. The Jersey City Medical Center, here to help you with your healthy, here when you need us the most. The Jersey City Medical Center, visit us on the net to learn more. Jersey City Medical Center, Robert Wood Johnson Barnabas Health Facility. Let's be healthy together. Newport, the luxury waterfront community on the Hudson River, offers a quality of life you deserve in 10 high-rise rental towers with amenities such as the on-site Newport Path Subway, light rail and ferry service, Newport Town Square, three playgrounds, dog run, upscale restaurants, retail giants like Sears, JCPenney, Macy's, and Target. Morton Williams Supermarket is just outside your front door. A health and fitness club, spa, skating rink, and medical facilities are also on site. NewportNJ.com Enjoy the New York skyline from Newport Town Square. Manhattan is just one path stop away or quick ride through the Holland Tunnel. Nursery and private elementary schools all on site. 12 screen movie theater at the Newport Center Mall. Want to visit Newport? Stay at the Western or Marriott Hotel. Go to NewportNJ.com for details. Newport has luxurious towers, great restaurants, shopping, New York skyline views, schools, playgrounds, a marina and yacht club, gym, spa, fine wine, fine living. It's incredible. It's you. NewportNJ.com. Newport. Live like you want. Pen and Pencil Properties, Jersey City. Shape in the workplace with state-of-the-art office spaces that address your company desires. Building residences that define your home environment. Adjacent to all modes of transportation with on-site parking available. The right address, the right lease. Call 201-521-521. 9,000 or visit online at panapintoproperties.com. Panapinto Properties, building Jersey City for everyone. Rama Jewelers, located in the Lyndhurst Shopping Center at 413 Valley Brook Avenue, Lyndhurst. Come for all your jeweler needs at Rama Jewelers, where you will find a fine selection of necklaces, earrings, rings, and bracelets. Choose from one of our complete sets, our many signature items, or find the perfect engagement ring. Come on down, that's Rama Jewelers at 413 Valley Brook Ave, Lindhurst. Call 201-939-5784 or visit us online today. We're back from break and saving the best for last. Summer Dawn Reyes. Hi, Summer. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Thank, thank you, you so much for having me. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> out. This is so exciting. So, you know, it's it's a very special evening coming up. Um, I know you're being recognized by the Jersey City Arts Council. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, my company, Thinking in Full Color, is receiving the Performing Arts Award. And it's huge for us, especially, we've been doing uh, work for maybe like, we're coming up in our fifth season. Nice. We do a show every year called In Full Color. 
Um, but where do you um, where do you play in full color? Like where is that um, production oh, held? Um, it's in Jersey City every year, mm -hmm. um, and it features a dozen women of color sharing their stories. Uh, but this is our first year as an independent company, so I'm so like. Maybe not surprised is the right word, but I'm really excited that we're being recognized um, for our work um, kind of so early into our life. Um, this is actually our birthday. It's our inception anniversary. Happy birthday. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what inspires you to um um, you know, to you, I, I know you're working on a coloring book, and I know you have some really amazing books here um, in full color. What what inspired you to sort of create um, the process to happen, to have you know colored women have a voice, and um, a lot of it just came from my experience as an actress. I felt like when I was going out, and I felt like when I was going out and auditioning for roles that a lot of the roles I was going for were huge stereotypes and just the dialogue was ugly and saying things that uh, women wouldn't say, much less Asian or Hispanic women wouldn't say. Uh, and I am also a writer, so I thought, you know, what can we do to kind of combat this lack of representation, but to give women an opportunity to write their own stuff and share their own stories. Wow. So um, you recently um, started a coloring book, um, which you did an Indiegogo for. Yeah, we well, um, I think we actually did it through Kickstarter. Oh, Kickstarter, sorry. Yeah, um, crowdfunding is is so crazy. I've done it before, um, but this was a big challenge. I feel like it stresses me every time I think about doing it. So how was the process for you? Uh, it was a lot. You just kind of have to believe in what you're doing and that people will see the value in it and want to support um, and kind of just put it out there. I think a lot of people get embarrassed about asking people to support, but for me, you know, a lot of people I'm sure contributed because they believe in me and my work. But what I really wanted people to do is believe in what the coloring book is and the cause and you know, want to support it just for what it is. Where will these coloring books be distributed? Uh, we're going to uh, try to give some to some kids in Jersey City. Okay, schools um, and stuff? Yeah, I really want to get into schools, libraries, um, maybe some local bookstores, but you can also buy it online on our website. Cool. Yeah, awesome. I'm very excited for it. That's great. So what about your book? Um, I, when did this get written? This is a really cool book. This uh, has monologues from the first two seasons of mm -hmm. In Full Color. So it has work from uh, women all over the country. And um, actually, we have a bonus story in there for someone in Canada. So I was like, we're international. <laughs> um, it's, it's really a good read. It has um, just the whole gamut of things. Some things are really funny, and some things are really tragic but very powerful mm -hmm. um, and this is um, the first anthology we're actually coming out with another one next year that's gonna have all of the first five seasons so in full color uh, what kind of production is this so it's a theater production um, we've experimented with a couple different formats but for the most part it's people doing monologues or poems or stories and um, they each get a chance to kind of share that and we try to present it in a way that um, is respectful and inclusive of all uh, cultures and backgrounds and then we really try to foster this idea that um, this idea of sisterhood and togetherness and it's colorful it's fun do you believe in sisterhood I do you, you know do. we have everybody at the end of every show hug each other and it's so corny but it feels really good when you're doing it because you want to you just hear each other's stories and see each other succeed like you know you watch maybe somebody's having trouble memorizing something or or trying to break through an emotional wall and they get there and you just want to give them a big hug at the end what else do you find to be most difficult um, in sort of, you know, keeping the sisterhood happening? Like, you know, obviously inside the walls of when you're working together, but how do you kind of put it out there in your, like, everyday life? I think you just have to support women, which sounds 
Courtney, you know, we're all human. So, you know, women don't get along or women have, um, you know, moods or something and clash with each other and can have drama. But at the end of the day, I think we can still support each other's work and be there for each other and put aside our differences. Um, and really what we try to do is anyone who's worked with us before, if they have a project, we'll promote it, we'll try to t like show up, we'll do something because that sisterhood is so important. Yeah. And is it just women that are um, involved in your production? Uh, yes. We, uh, we Isn't it just African American women, or like? No, it's um, it's uh, black women, Asian women, Hispanic women, um, all women of any kind of marginalized racial identity is welcome. We've had um, we've had trans women in the past um, cool. past season, um, and women of various sexualities are welcome to apply. Nice. Uh, it's it's a really great diverse crowd, and I think it what makes us so unique is that we give everyone an opportunity rather than focus on a specific ethnic background. Wow. You know, we only have a few minutes, but I couldn't help but notice this really super adorable book, um, Boys I Haven't Loved Yet. Um, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, so this is actually um, a short story collection of just work that I've written. Um, kind of my primary work is writing. And these are all like little quirky anecdotes and stories that I wrote when I was like in my early 20s about, about dating, about, you know, forming my ideas of what relationships should be like. And they're all pretty funny. Um, and some of them have actually been adapted into uh, my one woman plays. Um, and I just thought it would be a fun read because we go out and tour colleges and stuff. And I was like, I should share the stuff that I wrote when I was their age with them. Yeah. That's so cute. Well, I'm looking forward to really reading them. And I can't thank you enough for coming out today. I'm really looking forward to um, your event. And um, I look forward to um, the future, what the future holds for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, everybody. Inside Hollywood on the Hudson. See you next time. Bye-bye.